If you're a hypochondriac like me, you'll have a packed diary this year, what with all the health-related awareness days and weeks and months, you'll no doubt be wanting to celebrate. And you're really sport for choice this month because May has been declared an awareness month for arthritis, cystic fibrosis, food allergies, hepatitis, lupus, skin cancer, mental health, asthma, celiac disease and osteoporosis. And if you're worried about your blood pressure, an American, there's even more cause for celebration because not only is May National High Blood Pressure Education Month, but on the 17th it's World Hypertension Day no less. Who knew? Now high blood pressure is one of those things we should all pay attention to earlier in life. As it is, blood pressure is one of those things which, unless yours is so high it has to be measured in pounds per square inch, you're not going to notice until you hit middle age. That's when you start noticing things going wrong, like your hearing and your eyesight and your memory and, if you're a man, your prostate. Then you panic and have a checkup with the doctor who adds blood pressure to your list of medical woes. From the doctors, most 50-year-old men head straight for the bicycle and lycra shop, pausing only to throw away their last packet of cigarettes. Now, that happened to me a couple of years ago, and after visiting the doctor and the bicycle shop, I went out and bought a Withings blood pressure monitor, which recorded an average of 138 over 83 over a period of a week. I weighed about 95 kilos at the time. Now, to put that into some kind of context, blood pressure is made up of two readings. The first is your systolic pressure, which is the pressure when your heart beats and pumps blood. The second, lower number, is the pressure in your arteries in between your heartbeats. Now there is a broad level of agreement amongst cardiologists that anything under 120 over 80 is healthy. But there isn't quite the same level of consensus about what is unhealthy. The American College of Cardiology defines stage 1 hypertension as anything in the 130s over 80s, whereas according to the European Society of Cardiology, you're not grade 1 hypertensive until you reach your 140s, 150s, over 90s. So if you're American, one cure for stage 1 hypertension would be just to get on a flight to London. You'll be cured the moment you arrive. Either way, the Withings blood pressure monitor takes account of your location and adjusts its advice accordingly. At the other end of the scale, if your blood pressure is 180 over about 120 or higher, then you're probably about to go off like a volcano. And you should probably evacuate everyone within 20 miles of your position. Whilst my own reading of 138 over 83 was not exactly what you would call volcanic, it was definitely heading in the wrong direction. So I started taking a lot more exercise, at least an hour a day, walking, cycling or swimming. A few months later, and that hadn't made much difference to my blood pressure, so earlier this year I started on a diet to lose 15 kilos in 8 weeks. It's now about 12 weeks later, and so far I've only managed to lose about 6. Still. A few weeks ago, Withings uh, sent me the latest version of its blood pressure monitor, the BPM Connect, to try out. So now seems like a good time to see whether that level of weight loss has made any difference. Not to mention all the extra exercise I've been taking. So first things first, the new monitor has some big improvements over the old one. Like Withings' smart watches and scales, the blood pressure monitor syncs with the company's HealthMate app on your phone, so you can keep a track of how the readings change over time. Now the new monitor syncs the data with the app via Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth, and because of that, and because there's a new digital readout on the side of the unit itself, you don't need to have your phone nearby to take a reading anymore. That's a big plus. Another new feature is that the app can create a report of your last quarter's readings and share them with your doctor. And then lastly, it's got a better cuff, which is easier to tighten around your arm. So, what is my blood pressure? Let's find out. Press the button. The light comes on. Press it again to start the reading. You can press it twice and get um, an average of three readings. 
and then try and relax while it takes your blood pressure. I'm not sure this really makes for the most compelling viewing, but bear with me. Oh look, 135 over 87. That's not too bad, but it's still uh, a little way off being in the properly healthy range. So it looks like I'm going to have to redouble my efforts and get rid of that final nine kilos pronto. And if that doesn't work, I may have to change my whole work-life balance from the current 10 hours at my desk with one hour's exercise to something more like the reverse of that. Either way, I'm glad to have the Withings BPM Connect to be able to see whether what I'm doing is making any difference. For more reviews of useful gadgets, do subscribe on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And if you know anyone else who's hit middle age and is starting to fall apart like me, do share this with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye bye.